what is up you guys it is Katya Bulks welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome so yes today we are going to talk about the bootay the peach the fanny the butt Nemo you touch the butt well scientifically the glutes which actually is made up of three main muscles gluteus medius maximus and minimus so yes this workout i'm going to take you guys through is going to start with an activation exercise in the beginning so that you can help fire up that muscle so that when you go into your workout you can really focus on that muscle now glute activation is a term that i feel like has been like thrown around or whatever muscle activation and so I want to talk about how can you accomplish that and the purpose of it. So first of all, the purpose of it is so when you go into a workout, whatever muscle you're really trying to trigger, you're kind of pre-triggering it so that when you go into an exercise that may be compounded, so utilizes a lot of other muscles, you're able to really focus in on that muscle so that you can focus on the growth. So for example, legs. It's a big muscle group. We got our quads, hamstring, calves, and well, glutes. And with glute activation, what we're doing is we're trying to own in on the muscles of the glutes so that those can grow. And hopefully, when you're doing exercises, you're, you don't overcompensate with you know your hamstrings or your quads. Now, this workout I'm going to do and show you, we have some hamstrings thrown in there because that's also a major muscle group that I'm trying to focus on growing because I don't have much shape to it and I know with bikini competitions the glute ham tie-in even though that's not really a muscle it's just where the gluteus you know maximus muscle comes in and so does so, you know the hamstring and it has that illusion of meeting I don't know how to describe it that well but yes so I will preface my workout and activation by saying that I didn't show that I did like a pre-warm-up warm-up because since I've had past injuries with my legs and my adductor, what I did is I just got on like the Stairmaster for about five minutes and then I went into the sauna for about five minutes and then just did some stretching, some static stretching actually because then the muscles were really well warmed up and plus my physical therapist told me you can do static stretches before a workout and you're gonna be a okay you don't have to crazy warm up you're not gonna like pull something just from doing it obviously if you over stretch it you can you know hurt yourself and it can impede then the exercises that you do so don't over stretch it but just enough and hold each motion for about two minutes so that it really triggers that muscle and helps open it up all right so jumping into the workout i'm just going to start on the floor and what we are going to do are bridges hip raises whatever you want to call them and with this i'm driving through my heels and focusing on squeezing my glutes as best as i can so do these you can do how many you want you don't want to over fatigue them of course but just enough where you're starting to feel the muscle so i switch back and forth from doing both legs to single leg so i can make sure each glute is fired this is really going to help fire up the gluteus maximus if you narrow your stance or you cross your legs you can you know trigger other parts of the glutes you know so just do a few of these as you please. And then next I'm gonna go on all four legs, you know, like you were gonna do a cow stretch. And we're gonna do almost like a kickback. I do mine a little more static and hold it in, up my legs and I'll switch from like bent knee to straight leg just so I can make sure I'm really triggering the gluteus Maximus again. So give these a go. You can do this before or after the bridges, however you please. But these are two main exercises that I really enjoy that are just complete body weight and that will help, you know, narrow in and focus on the glutes and trigger that muscle. So yeah, did a few little clams, but I'm gonna soon go into the abductor and adductor, abductor, adductor, you know, you know what I'm talking about.
so really qu quickly to just like butt in here. Um, the gym was actually quite busy at the time that I went. In the middle of the day, I was kind of expecting everyone, you know, will come around five or six o'clock after work. So I didn't show the abductor, but I showed the adductor machine. But I went kind of back and forth between the two, so I did like a few sets of each, about 20, you know, five sets of 20 reps, you know, pretty light weight just to warm up the muscle. So what you'll see here is I actually lean forward when I do this because then it really gets that gluteus medius, the side glute as you might call it. If I lean back on that rocking chair, it gets more of the IT band and that side leg, which is good as well, but today we are focusing on the booty and we want to grow the booty. So I really recommend trying to lean forward and focus on the contraction of that gluteus medius. And this is so important also just to open up the hips as well, you know, if you're going to be doing any compound lifts such as squats or deadlifts. So jumping into the first exercise, what we got here is your conventional glute bridge with weight. Now you can do this with a regular barbell and weights, but I actually like using the Smith machine because you take away that element of the balance, which is great for other minimal muscles and it's you know good for you don't get me wrong but by doing it on smith machine you can focus solely on the glutes now and adjusting your feet position adding a resistance band you're able to trigger other muscles of the glutes but here being the first exercise i'm starting with i'm just trying to focus in on the gluteus maximus then we jump straight into this is a superset we're gonna do some goblet squats with a weight, or you can call it goblet squats, whatever, but I hold the weight up against my chin because if I hold it down below, you know, it hits the ground, and I wanna to try to get the best depth as possible. Do a little wider stance than shoulder width so that it helps get the glutes because, you know, uh, I don't know, geometry, if you widen your stance, it gets the glutes more. If you narrow the stance, it gets kind of the quads more. I don't really know how it works, you know, I didn't take anatomy, I'm sorry, but <laughs> trust me. Just drive through the heels, focus on that, and focus on your form, keeping your chest up as well. I also did five sets of 15 reps for each of the exercise. So you can do that if you like, or you can always switch up the rep scheme, narrow, you know, lower the reps and do higher weight, however you please. going to preface this workout that we're gonna do here which is another superset by saying I forgot my low pulley belt and so at least this is an alternative for people who don't have like a hip squat belt that's what it's called I'll link it down below you can get it on Amazon if you want one but we're gonna be using the narrow stance grip here and with this we're also achieving the low pulley squat I like using the belt because then I'm able to really focus on getting the glutes and nothing will overcompensate. Like sometimes when I first ever tried these exercises, it was hard for me to just get the glutes because sometimes my back would pull because you feel like you're pulling backwards. So with this, you want to go wider than shoulder width, toys, toes pointed out a little bit and you are going to drive through your heels and almost pull back, like push back. Think of it as more of a push through your legs than a pull because if you pull, your back starts to kind of work into the exercise and that's the last thing you want. And of course, squeeze the glutes at the top. Yes, these have become one of my favorites. I do prefer using my belt, but since not everyone has like a hip squat belt and it's so specific, 
this is your alternative. But just make sure you start with a low weight and then you can move up the weight a bit. And I did five sets of, I think about 10 to 12. But yes, we're doing a super set. So now we are gonna jump into curtsy squats. Curtsy squats, it's gonna help get that gluteus medius and minimus a bit. More medius because that's kind of that side glute area, but also get a bit of the minimus and of course, well, maximus. Anything in a you know, squat position, lunge of that sort is also gonna hit the maximus. So I'm doing these fairly slowly, really focusing on that contraction and on that muscle. Plus because of my previous leg injury, I'm just trying to be as careful as I can. I actually did eight reps of these because I did a semi heavier weight because they didn't have the weight that I was hoping to use but hey there's nothing wrong with pushing yourself a little extra right RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, if that's what it stands for. I was gonna go straight into the line hamstring curls, but the machine was taken by an old man and I was waiting there for about five minutes and I'm like, my muscles are about to cool down, so no. But with this exercise, as you can see, I'm focusing on one leg forward. I like to start when I do isolateral movements with the weaker leg, and so that's, well, my left side. And you can challenge yourself and lift the back leg up when you move forward, but since that requires a little more balance and I'm really trying to own in on that hamstring and that glute area, that little lower glute area if you want to call it, I am just kind of planting my foot in the back but lightly sitting on it in a way so that I'm focusing on the leg that is forward and the stretch. That is the biggest point. So when you're doing this, you don't have to go all the way to the ground. Keep your back neutral, but bend down slowly. You can start with a light weight. Feel that stretch in the hamstring so that when you come up, you're able to think about squeezing that hamstring and glute and not bringing that weight up with your lower back. And then with this exercise, I did about, I think, four sets of 12. And then I went straight into just kind of pumping it out with both legs because it just, they're already almost pre-fatigued and so just killing them a little more. I like to murder my hamstrings when I do my legs because I don't have legs for another few days and so I like to leave them sore. I did were the hamstring curls 
Now with these, I did three sets and I did drop sets with each of them because by the end of my workout, they're pretty much fatigued. So I'm just gonna like really over exhaust them, push them much more as I can. And so with this, I started I think about 55, 45 pounds, can't remember exactly. And I did about 10 to 12 reps, I forgot. <laughs> You can count if you want, uh, but then drop the weight two more times and yeah, that's what a drop set is. And I did three sets of that and by the third set, I kept trying to start at a heavier and heavier weight. So push yourself if you can. You don't want to always do the same weight every time or you are not going to grow. Your body's going to adapt to the weight and your muscle ain't going to grow and that booty ain't going to grow and you ain't going to get that strength. So. Yeah, go push yourself. All right, guys, so I will type up the workout that I did down below in the description box if you want to go give it a try. My legs are so sore. It's the next day. And yes, it's been difficult moving around, but not too, too crazy because I made sure I did stretching, rolling out, and went into the sauna just to help loosen up the muscles because I don't want to be crazy sore, of course. But I know I pushed myself because they are still fairly sore and gladly I have upper body today to work out. But if you enjoyed this workout and it was helpful for you guys, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out other videos. And if you have any recommendations for other upper body or whatever muscle group you want me to talk about or go into or show exercises for, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I love you all. Go get those gains, whether it's in upper body or the glutes, of course. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye.